What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And today I bring you the brand new Open Road Panther Series 2S Plus 13,000 pound winch. Um, this is an updated version of the winch that I run on my Gladiator that I have been very impressed with. Now, full disclosure, Open Road uh, Four Wheel Drive is a sponsor of the channel. Um, and they did send this winch to me for free. Um, but uh, for something like a winch, that is not something that I take lightly. And they had um, you know, offered me sponsorship for the channel very early on. And I turned them down a few times because something like a winch is not something that I'm going to, um, not something that I'm going to risk. That's too valuable of a piece of equipment on a rig to, to put to chance. So, you know, with that winch, I offered them to, you know, send it to me, let me put it to the test, let me see how I like it, then we can discuss. And I have been very, very impressed with it, and I would not be um, talking about this brand. I would not let a brand like this sponsor our, our channel and provide winches for our vehicles if I didn't actually believe in them. And in this case, I have been very impressed with Open Road Four Wheel Drive, very impressed with the quality of their winches and the performance of their winches. Um, so much so that uh, I, I want to introduce this one to you. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets Music Festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. So let's dig right in here. Um, like I said, this is the, an updated version of the winch that I have on my Gladiator. So it is 13,000 pounds. It is IP67 waterproof rated, oops. Which means, the IP67 means, the IP6 means that it is fully dust proof. So no matter what dusty environments you may find yourself wheeling in, no dust is going to get into the internals of this winch. And the IP67, the IP7 rating means that it is fully waterproof up to one meter of submersion. And I mean, if you're in water over a meter above your winch, uh, you got more important problems <laughs> than, than recovering yourself. Because uh, you'll be, you know, diving down and it, it, your rig's going to be washed away if you're in water that deep. So, um, in the box, we have got a uh, nice instruction manual with, uh, with a sticker. So, yay for that. Um, we've got um, your standard hook. This, there's nothing super fancy about this hook. It is, uh, it is the only thing in this winch that I would replace with something you know, a, a little higher quality, a closed thimble uh, like we have on our rigs, that sort of thing. But I mean, it's a, it's a standard hook that will work. Um, we've got your hardware. It looks like a pretty standard hardware kit here. They do include something, um, they do include something a little different here. And that is, uh, this it's a little hook, um, a little hook mount. So this goes into your, onto your fair lead, I think. And then so you take your hook and you, you, you attach it there. And so it gives you a place to, to put your hook. Kind of cool. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I've never seen one of those before, but I think it's a neat idea if you're going to run a hook. Oh, you got your, your standard negative ground cable that goes to your battery. Nice, thick, um, there we go. Nice, thick, heavy duty cabling there. Um, looks good. Then you've got your wired remote. Um, nice. It's got a good ergonomic handle there. Typical, you know, 
in and out. That's all you all the controls you need on your winch and a, a nice beefy connector there. So you do have a wired wired connector. Then you've got your standard little your little pull tab for your for your hook. So you know that slips on there if you choose to, and it just gives you a you know gives you something to, to grab onto instead of hanging onto the hook if you if you wanted to do that when you're pulling out your cable. Um, let's see. Inside here, let me move this over. Inside here, you've got your, your control box that uh, looks really nice. They've redesigned this a little bit for mine. It's a, it's a little cooler shape. Um, this is obviously you know, mounted on top of the winch and has the normal winch hookups. It's got your wired winch connector uh, there and looks, uh, looks really nice. Like I said, this, this is all IP67 sealed. Uh, you've got, uh, you, you get a hat. That's, that's nice. You get an open road hat. Um, you get two wireless remotes. Now these are the smallest wireless remotes that I've seen on, on winches. I've seen other brands that, you know, give you this option that's also wired. But I have fallen in love with these little remotes. And I like the fact that they give you two of them just because redundancy. Um, you got a power button here, your winch in and out. But these fit really handy. Just, you know, toss them in your center console, put one in your glove box as your spare. Um, you know, reach in, grab it. It's there handy for you. You can put this maybe in, in one of your totes or something as your backup. Uh, but that, you know, that takes up a lot of space in the glove compartment or center console. Uh, but these are super small and I just, I, I love how tiny they are. And every time I've used recovery for both my Jeep and Kara's Jeep, you know, these have been what we've used and they've worked fantastic. So like that they give you two and um, like, they, I mean, they just fit in your center console. So great. Um, let's see. You've got uh, your Haas Sphere Lead. It is, uh, looks like nice aluminum construction. Um, my it look, looks i mean i don't see any burrs or anything on it looks it looks really good so nice lightweight aluminum fairly there and then you've got the winch itself and i'm pretty impressed with the construction of this thing um it is all metal i don't see any um you know any any burrs or or flaws in the in the casting here it is uh Looks very well made. The your winch line, your synthetic winch line, is already pre-wound. Now we will do we will unspool this and re-spool this under load when we get this installed here in a little bit. Um, but I mean, it already comes pre-wound, so you don't have to deal with with that. And you got your your control box connectors here, ground connector here on the bottom. Um, and what, what really I, I have been super impressed with on this thing, and you don't think of little details like this, but that is your free spool lever here. Um, I have, you know, used a number of different winches over the years and they've all got the little twisty, the, the little twist lever, um, that I've actually had seize up on me, um, before on previous winches because they weren't IP67 waterproof rated. Um, and so grit and mud and stuff got in there and they, they seized up. Uh, but I very much like this one and I don't think it would be susceptible because it's not just forcing the gears to shift. You actually pull up on this, turn to lock it, and that disen disengages the gear so you can free spool uh, your line. And then you just turn it and it snaps back down there, spring loaded. So I think that is a, a great free spool lever there and of all the winches that I've had this is by far my favorite and um, works super easy. So I mentioned that this was an upgraded version of the winch that I am running on my Gladiator so 13,000 pounds same clutch control here uh, same 85 feet of synthetic line but what they've done is they've upgraded the motor and the gearing. It does have a six horsepower copper wound motor inside and two 16 to one um, solid metal gears 
in here. So it's a little bit faster than the winch that I have on the Gladiator. Um, and for the price, at, at the time of this recording on their website, it's $489. And a lot of times you'll see additional discounts and sales going on depending on the time of the year. Um, so at, at the time of this recording, $489 for a well-constructed, waterproof, 13,000 pound winch uh, with synthetic line. Uh, I mean, you, I don't know that you can beat that for a winch of this quality. What we're going to do is I've got a friend who has brought his Jeep over and we're going to install this on his Jeep. We're going to unspool the line, re-spool it under tension, show you how to do that. And I think this winch will serve him very, very well. Connecting these together, um, usually easier when it's just on the bench, not on the rig, uh, could not be easier. The control box just... Uh, slips on there. The only tools you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a 9 16th wrench for, for these. So just mount the control box on here. You know, get it, get it centered. I mean, if you want to mount it over here to the side because you've got something in your grill or your bumper or something that prevents it from being centered, you can you know, slide this around any way you want to. Um, but I'm going to center that. I'm just going to tighten these up. There we go, that's nice and secure. And then on the connectors here, I mean, it can't be any easier because they're color coded. You see the, the yellow here? You see the, the yellow ring down here? Well, that goes there. And the red goes there. The black goes there. And then you take your negative ground cable and then your um, ground cable for the control box and you mount those to the ones underneath so it's it's really just that simple now once you get that connected you take your little boot and slip it over just to cover up those connectors let's take our while i'm doing this let me just mention um, if you're watching this and you are not subscribed to our channel, um, this is my ask for you, to, for you to do so. We just hit a new milestone at 50,000 subscribers, which I am super pumped about. And at the time of this recording, uh, it is the, uh, the last week of June. And so we're at 50,000 subscribers now. I would love it if we could hit 75,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Another 25,000 between now and the end of uh, between now and the end of 2022, I think would be would be awesome. So if you are watching this and not subscribed, uh, do me a favor and go go hit that subscribe button and uh, help me hit that goal of 75,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I would very much appreciate it. Now I'm just gonna. Um, install the ground cable here. Whoop, that one's actually smaller. That's a whoop. that's a half inch. Be right back. There we go. Perfect. So add a, add a half inch wrench to your list of tools needed to install this. And there we go. Everything is ready to get installed on the vehicle. So let's get that done. All right, I got my friend Chad's um, pretty, pretty brand new uh, JL Wrangler in the garage. And we are going to put the new winch on on his JL. Um, Chad is one of our, our patron supporters and I made a post uh, to our patrons saying that we um, needed a, a volunteer rig to, to put this winch on and Chad was the first to speak up and worked out that he could come down. So uh, we're gonna get this installed on his Wrangler. It's really, really simple. All you, especially if you've got a nice winch bumper like, uh, like, Chad, like Chad has here. 
um, you bolt the winch to the bumper, you run your, your, your power lines up to the battery, and that's literally it. I mean, it is just that simple. So we're gonna get this installed. Bingo. These recessed bumpers make this so easy. Before I tighten that down, I'm gonna run the wires and then put the grill back on there just to give me some extra room. Yeah, super easy. Bingo. Perfect. We've got everything installed. Everything fits great, but we're not quite done yet. The last thing we need to do is take this so that we can spool the line in under tension because right now, I mean, it's, it's obviously the line spooled on there, but if we were to use that in a recovery situation, the line's not really tight on there. And so the line would pull into the grooves of itself and that's when on the next recovery and you're trying to pull spool your winch line out it gets bound up in there it makes it really hard to unspool so spooling it under tension make sure that that doesn't happen and it makes it a lot better on the next recovery so that's the next thing we're going to do we've got a hill just right up from the house and we'll take my gladiator up there uh, so we can anchor to it and then use the weight of the jeep to spool the to bring the line in under the, the weight of the Jeep and then we'll be good to go. All right, it's good. Well, that's it. It was just that easy. All in, that took 30 minutes to install and spool the winch in under tension. If you are in the market for a new winch, maybe yours is old and needs to be replaced, maybe you're brand new to this and are looking for a winch for your new, for your new rig, um, check out Open Road Four Wheel Drive. I would not be showcasing them on the channel if I did not personally uh, love my winch and believe in them as a company so i mean for whatever that's worth uh, check out open road four wheel drive there's a coupon code in the description to save you a little bit extra money um, and i appreciate you watching give this video a like if you would uh, subscribe to the channel like i mentioned before if you're not already check out our patreon uh, if you want access to special content and you know opportunities like this um, plus, all of our GPS data is shared with our patrons. Uh, go check that link out in the description. And for all of our Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.